Hey ladies and gentlemen, Steven here from Red Lessons. Welcome back to another video. Thank you so much for joining me today. Really do appreciate your time and your viewership. It means a lot to me. So here we have a brand new fragrance by the company House of Siage. This one is called Whispers of Temptation. I've actually also reviewed Whispers of Truth Noir. I'm going to leave a card to that up here. And of course, I've also reviewed many on the men's side as well. If I remember, I'm going to leave all of the links down below in the description. But this is a brand new fragrance. I'm very excited to give you my thoughts on it. So make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin my fragrance review of Whispers of Temptation by House of Siage, and I tell you all about this perfume, what it smells like, what it reminds me of, how it performs on my skin, so on and so forth, I do want to mention that if you are a fan of fragrance-related content, if you like fragrance reviews here on YouTube, but also top 10 videos, giveaways, unboxings, and more, please do consider supporting this channel by subscribing to it. And of course, if you can give this video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, it would really mean so much to me. So I was taking a look at the note breakdown of this brand new 2021 release. And of course, it comes in the gorgeous cupcake style bottles with the Swarovski crystals. They're gold plated. I mean, the presentation is just so opulent and luxurious but I was looking at a lot of the notes that are in here and it contains plum which is one of my favorite notes of all time it also has cardamom it has blooming jasmine it has some other spices definitely a touch of saffron in there as well it has suede leather in the base agarwood some other woodsy notes so this seems like a bit of a darker composition and it's certainly complex to say the least I'm excited to give you my thoughts on the smell let's take a quick look at the gorgeous presentation So this fragrance opens up very fruity and very spicy. It's kind of hard to tell which note is trying to override the other because there are just so much going on in here, so many notes in here. And the interplay among all the different notes is really quite fascinating. At times it comes across smelling rather sweet. So I'm thinking there's like a hint of vanilla and of course, the fruitiness of the plum might convey a little bit of sweetness as well, but then I get a spiciness from it. And I really feel like there's more saffron than cardamom in here. So I feel like there's 70% saffron, 30% cardamom. The reason why I say that is because I do get that leathery vibe from the fragrance. And I know that saffron is often used in the synthesis of a leather accord. So the saffron that I get from it definitely comes across smelling a little bit spicy in the opening, but there's also that fruity and sweet tonality that that is really, really enjoyable. I know at times it almost kind of gives off like this lactonic peach slash apricot kind of a vibe. There is no peach or apricot listed in the note breakdown, but I'm guessing some of those fruity tendencies are morphing into this really unique um, accord, if you will, on account of the plum that's used in the opening. Now, I also mentioned there's a little bit of agarwood used in the base, and of course, agarwood is a very expensive ingredient, and I know that uh, House of Siage does have the tendency of using a lot of natural ingredients. And of course, you can certainly smell the agarwood in this one. If you smelled any number of other agarwood based fragrances, this one does it in a unique way, in my opinion, because it doesn't necessarily pair agarwood with rose. Of course, there's blooming jasmine in here. There are a lot of spices in here. So it does kind of give off this exotic, opulent, mysterious, and enigmatic vibe. But I feel like there's just enough agarwood in here to create that air of mystery without taking away that, you know, splendid, illustrious quality from, you know, the spices that are in here, mostly the saffron, but also the cardamom as well, the jasmine jasmine and then also that fruity tonality that you have going on in the opening. Now in terms of the jasmine that's in here, it's very quiet. So I don't get it up front and center necessarily. There are some other House of Siage fragrances where I do get the floral tones quite loudly and quite robustly in the opening. In the case of this one, I feel like the jasmine is way in the back, but it does ultimately help to paint the overall olfactive picture that you're going to get from this fragrance. So I personally really enjoy this one. I think this one is perfectly unisex. Plum is an ingredient that of course I've encountered before, not only in women's fragrances, but men's 
fragrances as well. And of course, agarwood is one of those ingredients that I think is a little bit more popular in commercial men's fragrances, but can also be found in a lot of women's perfumes as well. And of course, when it comes to a lot of niche brands, uh, they're typically unisex. And so I personally find this to be a very unisex fragrance. And I was actually wearing this one about two or three weeks ago, and I went to a local spa. I do like to have infrared sauna sessions every once in a while, just to detox. And the proprietor of the spa actually smelled it on me and she said, what are you wearing? So I actually had to write the name down for her and she was quite smitten by this one. And I do feel like it has that robust, flavor and personality about it that will really boom off your skin. It will get you noticed. And so if you are in the market for a spicy yet fruity sweet agarwood perfume, look no further, especially if you're a fan of notes like saffron and plum. I think this one is going to be absolutely awesome for you. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. So first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, this is a unique fragrance for sure. Of course, I've encountered agarwood in many niche perfumes out there, but the fact that they paired the agarwood with plum and jasmine and some of those other not so conventional ingredients with that suede leather undercurrent, I think really adds uniqueness and originality to this fragrance. And the overall smell is very pleasant. It is a little bit on the heavy side and so you must be a fan of fragrances that will really get you noticed if you're looking for something very introverted and understated and very quiet and gentle this perhaps isn't the fragrance for you but if you want to stand out if you want to make heads turn and if you're not afraid to spray something on and display it proudly definitely check out Whispers of Temptation. In terms of the longevity, you can expect about 10 hours on your skin. The projection was great for the first two to two hours of application. And for those first two hours, it actually did radiate just a little bit beyond an arm's length. It didn't start to sit closer to the skin until about the eight to eight and a half hour mark. So the longevity and the projection on this one is really above average. It's excellent in my books. In terms of the versatility, I do think it's a unisex fragrance. I do see it as a special occasion type of a fragrance. However, if you can afford it and you love the way that it smells, wear it whenever you want. Of course, these are just recommendations. And I can see somebody who's a little bit older and somebody who's a little bit more sophisticated really appreciating this one. And so if you are a connoisseur of fragrances, Chances are you're gonna find a lot of elements about this that will really appeal to you, especially the natural smelling quality of a lot of the ingredients that are in here. And lastly, in terms of the presentation, I don't really need to say much in that regard. Uh, House of Siage has one of the classiest presentations out there. Everything from the 24 karat plated gold to the shape of the bottle, the aesthetic, the Swarovski crystals, the names also convey a really nice personality about the fragrances to really put you in a certain frame of mind. So my final verdict on this fragrance is if you are a fan of spicy, fruity, agarwood scents with a leather undercurrent, definitely check out Whispers of Temptation by House of Siage. I think it's a beautiful fragrance. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for joining me today. That was my fragrance review of Whispers of Temptation by House of Siage. If you own or have tried this fragrance, please let me know what you think. Leave a comment down below. Also, please don't forget to support this channel by subscribing to it. And if you can give this video a thumbs up once more for the YouTube algorithm, it would really mean a lot to me. Thanks again for watching. Love you all. We'll see you soon.